this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the focus cell laying on its side. There's actually a space of about an inch underneath it and about three inches on the top. Suspended in distilled water with lye in it. What I'm trying to do is some more experiments with magnetics in the cell. You can see running off a 12.20 battery that's in volts and to the right is your amps. And as soon as I turn this on we're going to get a reading off of here. Cell is going into action now. And I'm running on uh, 9.36. I've backed off on the line. So let's see what happens here. So 9.32. And I just put the batteries, I just put some magnets on top. Then we're steady at 922. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to take those rare earth magnets away. We're at 916. 11.72 volts. Let's watch the voltage. 1171. We're going. It's definitely changing. We're going to turn off the battery for a minute. Too much hydrogen. There's definitely a correlation between the magnets that I've put on the cell in the bolt in the amperage that's going through it. I'm going to try this again here. There's our amperage, 9.6. Right now we have the magnets on it. Settling Turn it off. So what I'm going to do next is put another set of magnets on the other pole. Okay, and we're just about ready to go here. There's our amps. Turn it on. We're at nine. Oh, you can see it. Nine seven two seven one seven. See if it settles down here. 
0.963 and now I'm going to put the magnet on the other as well. So now I've got two sets of magnets here. We've brought the amperage down from 963 The voltage is 1170. Okay, let's take those magnets off now. Uh, 931-3029. I'm going to put them back on again. There's no question that we're getting a result out of this. I'm going to have to turn it off for a minute. Too much hydrogen. So one of the things that keeps intriguing me over this is the fact that it does not look like it's affecting the voltage as much as it's affecting the amperage. And obviously, if that is the case, if that is truly the case, then we have just another avenue to look at in bringing the amperage down. Now, of course, there's a factor that I don't have here and I can't deal with it right now and that is we haven't calculated or we don't have a way at this point of figuring how much hydrogen is coming out but right now I'm more concerned with how much amperage is going through it and how much voltage is going through it and I'll uh, give you a, a better look here at the magnets you can see how they're placed on top of that What I do is I have two plates that are in contact with the cell. The one on the left is in contact with one set of plates, that's three. And the one on the right is in contact with the other plates. So the magnet, if it is magnetizing all the plates all the way through, we don't know that right now, but probably it is. There's a lot of things we can do with this. For instance, one right off the top of my head is we should know what the polarity is on the magnets. I don't have time during this clip to do that. But I can tell you that the yellow clip there is going to the positive side of the battery. So the, the yellow is positive, that red is negative. They don't usually work that way, but that's the way it is here. And you can see the battery is holding up pretty well. There's no charger on it. It's at 12.17 volts, which is not bad considering uh, the amount of amperage we're drawing out of it. This is just another avenue to look at. Again, these are rare earth magnets here, and uh, there are, four, there are uh, four of them stacked, one on each set of plates. It does look like I'm getting some kind of results out of this. If you want to contact me at johnaarons at hydrogentap.com, I'd certainly be glad to correspond with you. This is just another one of those intriguing questions we have. More questions. You can write me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com or you can go to my site hydrogentap.com and see the focus cell. That's what you're looking at here. Uh, I don't have much lie in this so it's not producing that much. The focus cell including this one 
has 11 plates, 3 positive, 3 negatives, and the rest are neutral or blank. I usually have that cell in the upright position. The only reason it's laying down now is so we can see it all at one time.